Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to our Wednesday. It is pretty chilly today. I'm kind of cold, but spring is on its way. Usually I love winter and I never want it to end, but this year it's a little bit different and I am ready for spring. I'm ready this year. So we are going to our church group tonight and I do not have to cook dinner, which is nice. So we're going to have a really relaxing day. We're on school break. Um, <clears throat> I got up at four o'clock this morning with my husband's alarm and I never went back to sleep. So I got up and I did like my Bible readings and things. And then I started decluttering our kitchen. I already have two full bags and I started a third just out of here. You guys, I've been on the biggest kick of getting everything out of this house that is unused. So we have kept so much stuff in the basement for years and I've decluttered. I declutter constantly. If you know me, I do it every few months. Where does it come from? I don't know. I don't feel like I buy this much stuff, but there's been stuff in the basement that I'm like, no, I can't get rid of. I can't get rid of. Well, guess what? Yesterday I did. I'm like, we haven't touched it. I've said for years that I'm not going to get rid of it. We still haven't used it. Still haven't opened this box. It's gone. So I got rid of so much stuff. Um, and I plan to continue today. When you have a lot of people in a smaller house, clutter just, it's overwhelming and it stresses you out. So it just feels good to declutter. So that is going to continue today. We are on school break, like I said, but we're still doing Bible in our unit. So we'll be doing that and I'll be making some lunch at some point. But other than that, that's really all I planned. Yesterday, we cut up on all the laundry, so we don't even have to do it today. You want what? My nails painted. You want your nails painted? Okay. And I'm going to go paint Layla's nails. So for dinner tomorrow, we're going to have ham and like a little yummy dinner because I have this ham right here that I had saved from Christmas. So I'm gonna pull it out and thaw it. And I don't know, I'm thinking about putting it in the crock pot with like some kind of juice or something, um, brown sugar, things like that, just kind of maybe on warm so it heats up. So actually I have two bags of that. So I just put them in the sink. I'm gonna let them thaw and then I'll put them in the fridge till tomorrow. She wanted her nails red. So right now we're working on Bible. So we do the fruit of the tongue, a biblical study on the power of words. We're almost done. We only have, I think maybe three lessons left. And we just started this devotional. We've had it for a while. We've kind of read through it a little bit, but we just finished our other one. So we'll read through this book and then we have a Bible story to read and their little Bible lesson in here that we do. And then we're gonna work on rocks and minerals. It's 1014 and look what's going on. The kids are ready for lunch. Yes, so can we have an early lunch? <laughs> and Ashlyn wants peanut butter and jelly. And yeah, so we're going to, yeah, now everyone else wants one too. So I'm going to make up, I'll finish making a mash. I'll make up peanut butter and jellies and then we're going to go do our science lesson. Miss Layla's on her second peanut butter and jelly. So also today we're doing this. I don't know if I said that already or not, but we just finished our lesson. The kids just finished watching videos. Now we're gonna have some fun. So total like mom fail here. This takes days. So you have to make the volcano itself. So you have to do all the plaster. So I just did that and it has to sit and dry and then you pull it out um, once it forms. It sits in the cup upside down like this forming for it says 30 to 45 minutes and then you pull it out and then you have to let it dry for one to two days. So in one to two days, we'll do our volcano. So our volcano is done. It just has to dry for another day or two, it says. And these have thawed, so I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the fridge until tomorrow. And I've continued decluttering. Look, four more full bags. I had to change my shirt because that sweater was like too wide and it just kept falling off my shoulders and it was annoying me so bad, even though I love that sweater. I just couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't, all I was doing was this, pulling it back up. So, um, Everly asked for a smoothie. Oh, I didn't, I got out all the parts to the blender, but the actual part, the stuff goes into this. I'm gonna make her a smoothie, well, anybody a smoothie, real quick. Um, and then, I don't know what else I'm gonna do. Maybe much, much of nothing. Maybe sit down and read for a little bit because I have been go, go, going, cleaning up everything. And I'm kind of running out of things to donate, but I wanna keep going. It's weird, I know. I do milk. Some raw honey, some carrot powder, some 
spinach powder. This almond milk yogurt. No, I think I'm gonna skip that. I'm gonna skip it. And we're gonna use this tropical fruit blend. You guys, this is all the stuff that I have decluttered over the past, what, two days, three days? This doesn't include our trip last week. All of this. Can you believe it? Look at all that stuff. I had it in the car, but it's way too much stuff. I had to take it out because we have to go to group and the kids have Awana and things like that tonight. So, um, yeah, look at all that stuff. It's leaving my house and I love it. So now I'm coming down to feed animals because Gary has to come home like just in time for us to leave. So normally every night we feed animals together, but tonight I need to do it because he just won't have time when he gets here. So I'm trying to get everything done that we need to get done. And we have an early appointment in the morning for braces. So um, we tried to set everything up tonight for the morning as well because we'll be getting home late and the kids are going to need to sleep as late as possible without... Like, they're going to need to go to bed right when we get home, but also sleep till the latest possible second, which is going to still be really early because the appointment's at 8.30 and we have to leave by 8, so everybody's got to be up early. And my kids sleep normally, so, um, well, at least the older two do, but, yeah. So we just have a lot of things to get done before we leave. 